Hello, hello, and welcome back. So today we are opening what is called, uh, it's vintage football packs in wax wrappers. This is made by um, a company called Repacked Wax. And you get 15 cards per pack, various years and brands, 1950s and today. Is what is in these things. They actually make them these themselves. They actually seal them and everything. Um, let's read what it says on the back. Generations of collectors distinctly recall the thrill of opening a fresh pack of sports cards, the feel and sound of wax paper wrapper, the smell of cardboard, and the excitement of tracking down our favorite players' cards. Now re-experience the joy of collecting while sharing the feeling of new generation of collectors. Repacked wax pulls together high-quality cards, stars, rookies, and commons from major brands in 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and today, and offers them in a classic wax pa paper wrapper just like you remember at a more affordable price than most vintage wax. Condition and selection will vary. No two packs are the same. You have our commitment to, as fellow collectors to very high standards of quality, excitement, and satisfaction. And then you can order these at repackedwax.com. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I actually saw this on a guy's other channel that does... Um, it's called, like, The uh, Past is Alive. He opens a bunch of old uh, packaging and stuff and so this is I ordered this from the website this is how it comes and you do get some really cool cards these aren't just like loaded with nothing but junk or anything like that you know which a lot of repackers will do you know you'll buy a hundred dollars worth of cards and you get you know 13 bucks worth of you know stuff or something these actually have some pretty high-end cards in them. Um, I believe it was 80 something dollars a box, which you could you could sell these easily for five bucks a pack, and they would be really worth it. I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna do the whole tear open the box like I usually do, um, just because I do wanna save some of these, I think. So we're gonna open, I don't know. Let's open a dozen of them today and and you know if we pull some really good cards we'll uh maybe come back and open some other ones but i don't want to i don't want to blow my load I, I guess is what i'm saying is i want to enjoy these so i guess they actually take like an iron if you see they actually do iron these clothes they have a barcode so you could sell these repack max brings the gridiron glory in a wax pack re-experience the excitement of tearing into a wax-filled pack. It's kind of the same thing. It's said on there, Repacked Wax, Akron, Ohio. And again, www.repackedwax.com is where you can go to get these. And it has 15 vintage cards in it. So, and here's one thing that they also do, as you see, opens nice and easy. They put cardboard on them, so that way it doesn't like uh, your cards aren't ruined on the inside. And they're a nice little wax wrapper. I'll keep the wrapper. No gum in these, luckily. And you get a, the sticker. You get these stickers. All right, let's see. The first ones we got. We got a Dan Marino, uh, 1986 Passing Leaders card with uh, Tommy Crater. Cool card there. Uh, Kenron Rashid. Don't know them. I'm going to put the ones that I consider kind of trash right there. First edition, Maurice Jones Drew. Heck of a football player. Who we got? We got Brody Croyle. Boy, that guy was a. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. I didn't realize I was so zoomed out. I was do zoomed out to show you all the stuff. Brody Croyle. There's a bust. <coughs> uh, James Johnson. Millennium Milestones. From Tops 2000. Most of the two decades, Dolph Dolphins were known for the most prolific passing teams. Miami running back who tallied the last rushing touchdown of the millennium on December 29th, 27th, 1999. JJ scored on a one yard plunge. Oh, so the millennium milestone was literally right before on December 27th. Mo Lewis, John Jefferson. Look at that old school card. Carl Mecklenburg. Who we got here? John L. Williams. 
Henry Jones, Cleveland Gary, one of my fi favorites always, Mike Allstott, I'll keep a Mike Allstott card for sure, Greg Townsend, great player, Ed Podolak, running back of the Chiefs, this card's from 1975, really in, see, really in good shape, look at the, I mean, really sharp corners for being a card that is now super, super old, and uh, that's Joe Montana right there, all right, that's our first pack. And I, uh, they do have football ones. They have baseball ones. I have a baseball box. I ordered one baseball, one football. Um, I don't believe that they do hockey yet. They might at some point. I'm sure it's the getting quality vintage cards is probably the issue. You can definitely buy a bunch, but, you know. Bucky Diltz, Broncos. <sighs> Look at Bucky Diltz. Now, I am in the Denver area, so, you know, having a punter from the Broncos actually isn't a bad thing. Ray Bentley, Dino Hackett, Ryan Yarbrough, 94 rookie. Boy, that guy was a bust and a half. Ryan Yarbrough for the Jets. I don't even think he played. I think he was from Wyoming, and he played like two years, and they totally skipped out on drafting like some really good players. Uh, Donald Frank, Randall Cunningham, scorecard. Rick Kane, Lions. See, this is, again, this is from 1981. 1981 tops. Bill Moss, Dave Meggett. What's that say up there? Pro Set Power Football. Kind of a cool-looking Dave Meggett card. 1979 Bills team leaders. Curtis Brown, Frank Lewis, Sherman White, Keith Moody. Mark Duper. And Chris Duncan. So like I said, if you owned like a sports card store, you could sell these for five bucks a pack or something. You'd make money on the box and, uh, you know, it'd be something nice to offer people. All right. Sam Mills, heck of a linebacker. Paul Kaufman, tight end. Hey, he looks like my friend Andy. I might have to send this to him. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Giants team leaders, 1978. Jimmy Robinson, Greg Martin, Terry Jackson, Doug Kotar. Doug Kotar was their off was their rushing leader. 19. Well, let's. Sammy Smith running back. Tony McGee. Star rookie Paul Hubbard. He would never ended up being a star. Scott Davis. Detroit Lions. Luther Ellis. All right, Steve Bartkowski. That's a pretty cool tops. Really off centered. Look at that. That is about as off centered as you can be. Um, Dave Alexander, Gary Clark, Ron Wolfie, Mark Carrier, rookie superstar. Mark Carrier was a heck of a player for the Bears. Even the Gold Star edition. Carl Mecklenburg, and then Graham. <coughs> Yeah, I watched this one guy's channel. He's just constantly opening stuff. It's called The Pass is Alive. Um, check out his channel. I'm not going to put a link or anything because I'm just going to load this directly onto YouTube without editing. All right, we got Jermaine Crow, Great player. Bo Harris. Bengals. Bob Jackson of the Browns. 92 Pro Set. AFC Wild Card Game. Guard. Maybe a Bills fan will like that. Eugene Robinson, free safety. Willie Galt, another great bear. Vesty Jackson, Mike Saxton, Danny Pittman. Sims likes his OJ. Rich Gannon card. And then what do we got here? We got... Uh, Tommy Barnhart Top Stadium Club Edition card. I don't know who Tommy Barnhart was. Never heard of him.
And then the next card we got. Let's see here. Next pack. Is going to be Flash 80. It's going to be a, a Jerry Rice card. Insert. Bob St. Clair, Hall of Famer. Look at that helmet. It is crazy that people had helmets like that back in the day. Of course, there was a time when they didn't even wear helmets. All right, Tops 2000. Uh, Reggie Barlow. That's nothing. Kevin Mack. Junior Seo. Vintage card. We got Record Breaker. Charlie Joyner, San Diego Chargers. Most receptions in a career. Lupe Sanchez. He is a safety kick returner. Brad Van Pelt. All-Pro linebacker. We got Tom Bulich, running back for the Dolphins. This is going to be a 1978 card. We got Tim Brown. Number 99 is Winston Moss, so nobody. Richard Todd, quarterback, Jets. Sean Collins, Ted Hendricks. All right, we got five five packs down, six to go. These are pretty cool, though. I really like these. These are kind of nostalgic fun. Like I said, they don't cost a lot by any means. If I if you paid a bunch for these, then it'd be a whole different thing. James Dixon, Greg Landry, quarterback, Colts. Tom Blanchard, Saints punter. Brad Edelman. There's a Dan Marino. Ronald McKinnon, Arizona Cardinals, Thane Gash, Bobby Bear. There's a Bobby Bear. It's not his rookie, though. I had a Bobby Bear rookie at one time. Gary Fennick, All-Pro safety for the Bears. Getting a lot of Bears cards. Thurman Thomas card. Tim Manoa, running back for the Browns. Boomer Esiason and Mark Pryor. And then who do we got here? We got John John Casey. I think he was a kicker. Now, like I said, they are located in Akron, Ohio. So it kind of makes sense that we'll get a lot of Ohio sports guys, Buffalo, a lot of those kind of Northeastern cards, because I'm sure where they, I don't know how they acquire cards, but uh, I would picture that they would definitely be a lot of ones that are kind of local. So I bet we get a lot of... Uh, Browns players and Bears. We've already gotten a lot of Bears. All right, we got Jerry Rice. This is a pretty cool card. They didn't even peel off the thing. I like that card a lot. Ooh, we got another Jerry Rice. We got one of the old uh, uh, slideshow ones. You see that? You can see through it. Those are kind of cool. They used to try so much stuff with those. Sterling Sharp. Now, good player, those cards aren't worth a nickel. Bruce Smith, 92 Pro Set. John Alt, Super Bowl XIV, so that's what, 14? Pasadena, who was in Super Bowl 14? Steelers beat the Rams, 31-19. Another Sterling Sharp, so we got doubles of Sterling Sharp in there. Don Cockcroft, Doug Van Horn. Look at Doug Van Horn there. What year card is this? This is, my eyeballs aren't the best, 1978. Doug Van Horn. Steve Bono, there you go. Always great, Steve Bono. We got Raymond Butler and Tim Mazzetti. And you might be wondering why I'm sticking some cards over there and some cards over here. You, the, the ones down here I'm considering just kind of not worth anything. I'll just throw... They'll just go into one of my bulk things that I give away. Um, the ones over there, though, if they're kind of old and stuff, I keep a lot of vintage cards. Um, people like them for sets, things like that. So 70s, 80s, you know, are going to be ones that I kind of keep a little bit. Oh, we're backwards here. All right, Adrian Morrell, great player, but Reggie Rivers. We got a Randall Cunningham, Fred Barnett card. Steve Schubert. <coughs> of the Bears. Chris Dolman tops all pro. Leon White. 
It'd be crazy if that was Leon White as in like Big Van Vader. Uh, Thomas Lewis, nobody rookie. Chris Chandler, Richard Dent. Look at the old plastic visor on Richard Dent there. That's pretty funny. Uh, Merton Hanks, John Jefferson, super action. Again, tops way off center. Look at how off center that card is. Bo Jackson, I keep any Bo Jacksons. We got, it doesn't even matter. John Vaughn, I was going to say, is it Mo Vaughn? Clarence Williams, Chargers running back. Another Chargers card is Winslow, sure hands. That's a pretty cool card right there. Kellen Winslow. And then Chicago Bears, Spirit of the Game, NFC. Now, I am a Bears fan, so this is kind of fun to get all these Bears cards. No, we didn't get a sticker that time. We just got a regular piece of paper. All right, who do we got here? Chase Programs, National Football League. Chase Checklist. It does have Jerry Rice on the front. Travis Curtis. Bruce Smith, 1990s, Stars and Stripes. We got a Michael Irvin wide receiver card. Kurt Warner. It'd be cool if this was... a. A Kurt Warner rookie, but it isn't. This is the uh, uh, his second year card. Scott Deerking, no idea. William Thomas, Jacob Green. There's a super old one, Jim Otto. This is this is really old. This is I don't even know what year this is. This is going to be from the '60s. Jim Otto of the Raiders. In really good, really good shape. Uh, let's see here. AFC Championship game. John L. Williams. Henry Marshall. Kevin Long. Who do we get here? Rudy Johnson. Great running back back in the day, man. Rudy Johnson. And Kevin Murphy. Linebacker. You know, if you ever watch these videos and you want some free cards, uh, send me a little message through uh, uh, through Facebook or I mean through um, through YouTube, and I'll I'll send you some free cards. Hey, here we go. We got a Curtis Lofton Sooners card. Now, I I've been putting together a big collection of Sooners cards for my little brother, so I'll set him aside. He's not worth anything. But Steve Toll, Gary Clark, Gordon King. Jim Yarbrough. Who's this here? Mo somebody. Thane Gash again. You got Steve Young playoff card. These were these were really cool cards. They were almost in like a 3D effect, if you can see that. Jesse Hester, Leland, Keith Wills. Here we go. We got a draft Kerry Collins rookie card. Kerry Collins was a great player. Jerry Eckwood. So we've pulled out some pretty good cards out of these 12. So if I actually opened every single pack, um, I'd be pretty, I, I guarantee I'd get some really good cards. I mean, we even got a, like a 1960s old Topps card. I don't know, remember what exact year that is, but I know it's one of the old ones. That's the same set that like Terry Bradshaw was a rookie in and stuff. I mean, it'd be cool if we got the Terry Bradshaw, but we got Jim Otto. Gerald Riggs. Steve McNair. Robert Woods, John Carney, just a thicker card, I thought there was two there, Thomas Lewis, Ty Law, New England Patriots, George Seifert, Ed McDaniel, Troy Stafford, Don Calhoun, Wesley Walker, the old pro sets again, Dave Maggot, Matt Brock, and a Troy Aikman 2000 card. All right, our last two stickers, and this is our last pack we're going to be opening. Willie Davis, Dave Pierre, All-Pro defensive tackle for the Raiders. James Hunter, Lions. 
an old Phil Sims card, Jim Harbaugh card, Gil Fennerty, Irvis Givens, there's Sam Mills. Sam Mills was a heck of a player, USFL guy. And then, great, I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure he is. He should be if he isn't. Mark Stepnoski, he was a great player. Ricky Thompson, wide receiver. Mark Collins. And our last card is going to be a, a Mark Brunel Jaguars inaugural season card. That's going to be our last one. So anyways, again, this product was repacked wax. I only opened 12. There's 36 packs in a box. Like I said, they run about 80 something dollars. So, I mean, do the math on that. It's not too bad. It's like five bucks a pack. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please tune in next time. Like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, I look forward to opening more stuff. As usual, I sell my cards on Sullivan Cards Collectibles on eBay. Uh, I have a lot of cards. I've also been making my own art cards. So I've got some posted right now. Here's one that I'll be posting eventually is like a Willie Mays. I've been making these. Uh, just something fun. Here, you want to you want the one-of-one one autographed rookie of Conor McGregor? There you go. I start them at 99 cents. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please tune in next time. And uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks.